welcome back to my channel so as you can see based on my background you can tell that I'm in the kitchen today so for today I will be cooking up something special for you so as part of the series come dine with me Jamaican style I'm wrapping my country in my t-shirt by Patwa Apparel by the way you can check her out yes www.patwaapparel.com so my t-shirt says wagwan so for those of my friends who don't quite understand the lingua it simply means what is going on so that's our way of greeting you in jamaica now back to the video all right so um i was basically called out to take part in a series um which i mentioned earlier come dine with me series and i think it's basically um jamaican yes it's a dub it's dubbed jamaican um you know jamaican in terms of the menus yes so there are four other um content creators who would be taking part in this series so i will link their channels down below in the description box so guys please go check them out to see the delicious meal guys you don't want to miss it Go and see what they have in store for you. So my task was to prepare a starter or what we call in Jamaica or in other countries an appetizer. So tell me guys, what do you call it in your country? Right. So I'll just be making a simple recipe today, which is some pumpkin soup. So I have my ingredients here laid out. I have my corn. Of course, my pumpkin, which is the star of the show. I have some potatoes. I have, I'm, I'm using a cocoa. So this is what we call cocoa. I think you call it some um, Melania, something of the sort you call it. And of course, my seasonings. And I, today I'll be using, just for the video guys, I'll be using some pumpkin flavored soup mix and this really gives it a nice flavor however there's one ingredient that's in there that does not agree with me so yes so therefore i'm just using it just for you know presentation because it really gives it you know a nice um kick yeah in terms of the flavor and in terms of the appearance yes it will give it that so i'll be resorting to that today but outside of that guys since we're on you know this is something that i use in there i also use coconut milk i may use some coconut milk today as well as i may not but nevertheless so guys this is what i got today for me this is gold right now this is actually gold for me right now because this is not available in my area at all but i saw it at walmart today so i picked up all of four of them and it's the price the price is also that of gold too so yeah but anyway this is for another video because I won't be using it in the soup I have the canned one so I'll just use some of that in there so guys I'll be going off camera by the way did I say welcome to you if you're new here I am Inga S please guys if you've not subscribed to my channel go check it out thank you very much let me give you five seconds to do that have you subscribed yet? Have you subscribed yet? All right, thank you for doing so, if you have. <laughs> yeah, guys, so I'll be going off camera right now to just prep my ingredients for the soup and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so um, for the soup, it's usually I dice my pumpkin, but you know, since it's just, there's not much going into that pot, so I'm just going to grate it so that it will cook quicker. Because remember, I just want to get the color and the flavor of the pumpkin in my soup. Guys, also there are some few ingredients that I don't have out as yet. Um, of course, I'll be putting dumpling because you know as a Jamaican, you cannot make soup without dumpling, right? Am I right, guys? Yeah, who knows knows. So. I'm just breaking a piece of pumpkin here and the cocoa also is mainly to um that's mainly to 
thicken the soup. Give it the body, you know. And for sure, the, the, the pumpkin flavored um, soup mix will help with that also. So I'm not worried about that. Just a simple soup, guys, because it's a starter, you know. There are going to be five courses to the meal. So, yeah. You don't need much. I'll be putting in some carrots, some celery, and also some okra. I have a few okras to go in there. So guys, just watch the progress as I go along. I'm not gonna really focus on the stove right now because I don't wanna, you know, soil my hands. So when I'm done, I'm just gonna step over to the stove and I'm just gonna pour this in the pot for it to cook and then I'll work on my other vegetables. All right, guys, I do hope you'll enjoy this video. And guys, please remember to check out the um, channels of the other content creators. Like I said, I will link their channels in the description box. So please, what if excitement to go on? Come dine with us. Yeah. <laughs> Come dine with us, guys. And please, if you are interested in being a part of this series, you can reach out to any of them and let them know that you are so but you'll see more just check it out guys and watch the progress as i said let me just get a spoon here so i have these other vegetables to take care of so now i'm just gonna put in my pumpkin in the pot which is boiling away guys it's boiling away gonna add this to the pot now all right so I'm gonna show you when I'm when I'm when I've completed um, prepping this I will show you when I'm adding them to the pot. so ladies and gentlemen um, some of you may not be able to see directly inside the pot at this time but I will show you in a few but let me just show you what I'll be adding in my diced potatoes and some carrots I have some celery in there and the pumpkin, you know, those cook easily. Also the okra. Yeah, so I'm just gonna add these now. And then I'll show you inside the pot. I'm just gonna let that cook a little. And to that I'm gonna add some coconut milk. All right, for those of you who want to see directly inside the pot, so that's what's up right now. Okay, I may have to take some pictures to show you. All right, to show the others. So guys, let me just show you. All right, so that's what's going on in the pot right now. Okay. So let me just grab my coconut milk and um, pour some. That's going to work some magic in the pot. Is it me? Yeah. And that's a guan, from what a guan, you know, people. Yeah, man, that's a guan, you see? That's a guan. If you ask me what a guan, I say, yeah, and that's a guan. So yeah guys, so I'm about to add some coconut milk, the canned milk that is, so just gonna rinse my can and pour some in here. Just gonna pour it in my milk. Yeah. So, guys.
guys, tell me now, which of you add coconut milk to your pumpkin soup? And for those of you who have never, some of my Jamaican friends, they don't know nothing about meatless soup. So, just say you saw it here first. You saw it first, or you learn of it first. And All right, guys, so see what's going on there? So, for my foreign friends, so when the pot is boiling, <laughs> right, we say pot a bubble. So I got to go on some pot of bubble right now, guys. You see all the fire red, red like my t-shirt? Yes, so I got to go on from what I go on. See? So guys, continue to watch the progress. I will share the steps with you. So right now still, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you in a, in a few seconds, right? I've been making my spinners or dumplings. Those are the um, elongated shape you would say they shape like kind of like a okra yes they have the shape or oblong whatever shape you call it yes that same one so I'm, I will be making the round dumplings today or maybe I'll just drop in a few who knows but watch and see but it's mainly spinners that I'll be doing we call it spinners what do you call it so that's what I'll be doing in a few so continue to watch the progress and wait i can't wait for you guys to see the finished product let you know that ital is still vital guys see you in a few all right so i'm about to open the pot who wants to see another pot hey 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 here it goes so guys this is my bowl that i just needed the flour in can you see it you can see the bowl see that's my bowl that I just needed my flour in. All right, so let me show you how big woman makes spinners. Let's show you how we do it. So there's the spinners for you. There you have it. All right, so I'm dropping my spinners in y'all. Oh boy. And I'm back to making my Spinners, aka dumpling, soup, dumpling, whatever you call them. Alright, now you can see. You can see the bowl. Yeah. You over here, can you see that? Okay. Come and look, guys. Come and look. So, yeah, the soup will come on, good people. Let me tell you, it's coming on really nice. Really nice. It's shaping up really good so as soon as the dumplings cook I'm gonna share out some of the soup because there's my mom will be having some of it and she doesn't want any of the noodles in there yeah yeah so I'm gonna make one regular dumpling so now judge me still I can't make dumpling at the expert, but it's the same dumpling, you understand? I may make it differently from you, but at the same dumpling. Yeah, I may roll it different. Some people roll it like, I can't get it. Some people roll it like so. I roll it in my palm, you know? <laughs> so that's how I do it. And then I press it and then I use my thumb. Yeah, like so. That's a dumpling for you. So that's a regular shaped dumpling there, guys. And I'm gonna come back over and stir this pot. Stir the pot, stir it up. So let me tell you what and what I put in the pot, guys. You saw the corn and you saw the pumpkin. Um, I put carrots in there. I put a piece of breadfruit, even a piece of breadfruit. I think this may be the breadfruit. Where breadfruit there? I'm not sure if we can differentiate the breadfruit right now from the potato. Because this looks like potato. So that's not it. But yeah, you know what breadfruit looks like. For those of you who know breadfruit. Um, yes, I put breadfruit in there. Um, the okra and the other stuff I mentioned. So now it's gathering. You know, it's getting a bit more... I think it's thickening a bit, but it's not thickened enough where it's served. As a matter of fact, it could be had this way. Depends on your, depends on one's taste. Cause some people like their soup really watery. Some of us like it with a little body, you know. 
That's why we we'll put the pumpkin and the cocoa and yeah, so I'm gonna start seasoning up my soup now still. So dropping in my pepper right now, the scotchy, this other good old scotch bonnet pepper, or scotch bonnet pepper cousin. <laughs> and I have some beaten um, scallion here. And to that I'll also add some more, as I'm a prefer. No, I think I'm gonna just put the fresh garlic. The garlic paste, I don't necessarily like it for the soup. I use it in everything else except the soup and stew peas. I don't like it in the stew peas either. Yeah, but when I'm steaming the vegetables from cooking fish or whatever meat, the nice in there. Um, yeah. I can't leave out the time out of the soup, guys. Those are two major, major seasonings when you're making soup. Scallion, thyme, garlic. I said two, but I'm adding the third one, garlic. You want to add those. So something little of pepper, because you know pepper not, not, um, not, not readily available in some areas. So if you don't have pepper, you can use a little cayenne in there. If you don't have thyme, if you can't get thyme, you can use a little parsley or oregano. Because that is a form of thyme too, guys. I did not know that recently um yeah so i'm gonna drop my garlic in there i'm gonna cover the pot again and make it go on bubble see so me okay so this is for my friends who don't know what a breadfruit is this is what we call breadfruit in jamaica i don't know if it is actually indigenous to jamaica but um, you can check it guys I'm not sure so this is a fruit well it is a fruit it's a bit confusing it's one of those um, things that is a, a bit confusing because some consider it a fruit some say it's a it's not a grown provision because it was grown on a tree so it's pretty much a fruit um, yeah but it can be roasted so it can also be boiled Yes, and it's also, it forms a part of our national dish, which consists of roast breadfruit, ackee, and saltfish. So this goes perfectly, when it's roasted, goes perfectly well with, um, with ackee and saltfish, or any other protein you want to serve it with. However, it, it is also good for boiling, like I mentioned. So I did, I had another piece, which I added to my soup. All right, so that just just an FYI there, guys, for those who don't know. All right, so let's see what's happening in the pot here. I'm gonna give it five more minutes, and I'm gonna take some oat. And then I'll pour in the um as a matter of fact I'm gonna start um, taking it out. You wanna smell this pot? <laughs> yeah, boy. Uh, so this is mommy's own I'm taking out. So I'm just gonna put it because I haven't it's not completely seasoned because I'm gonna have to add some salt to hers. I'm gonna just add some garlic salt for flavoring and you know all of that stuff. Since I know they're not going in there. By the way guys, my mom doesn't eat meat. I actually thought of putting some um some chicken parts in it, but I said no, let me just do some veggie soup. And guys, honestly I don't smell that pepper. I am yet to smell that pepper. So here's what I did. I cut the corns in bite sizes because you saw them whole you didn't see when I cut them just to save time I just went ahead and did that off camera all right so I'm gonna win that just turn this on so guys remember to put some salt in this one I'm missing so now 
I'm gonna be adding the pumpkin soup mix and that's gonna give it, give it the feng shui spice. Guys, I do love the flavor of, of, of cock soup, you know, guys. One time you couldn't get me, honestly, when I thought of stop using these products in my soup, I used to be so concerned how my soup I got taste because if nothing else not in the soup, if you not have no flavor, remember me tell you, when you add this to it, trust me, you don't have nothing to worry about. So this, guys, is what really gives it. But because of that, um, so guys, if you know of any soup mix that doesn't have MSG in it, please let me know. Let me know, guys, please, because I really, so this is what a Jamaican does. Most Jamaicans do it. In the comments, guys, tell me if growing up as a child, you never used to see a mommy do this. If it wrong, all right, wrong, all right, miss me do it. Yeah, 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 so we do it. Nothing always, nothing now that's way. Hey, hey, yes, I'm gonna add some more season to it, but I just want to taste it first. I'm gonna taste this and see. But I know from my zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that needs a little more salt. And my zone definitely needs some salt. So I'm gonna add some garlic salt to it. This really has a nice taste. And this is not a free commercial for you guys, but trust me, it's nice. And I just hope them not secretly add no MSG in there. But it's nice. Then it out, you know? You know, if you turn on a make for sure, not true. Yeah, man. Same way it go. Bake it and then powder it out and, um, and, you know, combine it with the salt. And there you have garlic salt. So if you want to jazz it up, if you want to put up more seasoning in there, you can do that. Save some money. And maybe save your head too, because when you do it in there, you know what you put in there, not true. Yeah. This is where I store my fang, so I'm just getting some fang to put in the soup, guys. Guys, have you ever made a, a dish, right? And if when you when you finish cook the food, you remember say, oh my goodness, you never add you never add like the pepper or the pimento or something. You know, that happened to me a lot. So I'm hoping I didn't. I, in my head, I feel as if I left out something. So I'm adding the same now. And of course, I'm adding some to this pot as well. So I have more, a lot of leaves in here. So I'm just going to do this. Like so. Yeah. Knock it out in other pots. Stir it. Just get the butter over here. I get some butter in there. The pepper, now go on with nothing. So you know what? And guess what, guys, my ears are kind of pepper really not good for eat. Um, no good for eat. Cooked, you know. They say it's best added to your food when you finish cooking, but guess what? Sometimes I don't remember if you add it there. So I'm gonna sprinkle liquor in another pot. No? Just a little. It said it affect your stomach, so from that time my ear, you know, certain things on my hair, you know, for my hair, even if I'm not sure, but um, you know, that there, there's a saying that we, we have in Jamaica, there are some things that you hear people say, if it's not so, it's near so, so, yeah, sometimes I run with it. Guys, look in the pot now. Let me Guys, I'm trying to get used to the camera here, but um, my tripod stand is not tall enough to accommodate it. So until then, I could have mounted it. I don't have anything wide enough to mount it on. But next time I will figure it out. Yeah, so that I don't have to be lifting. Lifting and all of that stuff. So I'm going to add a little can. Tastes good. <laughs> Tastes good, people. The soup is shot. <laughs> so when we say my soup shot, when I said when I said that no, when I say my soup shot, means it tastes good. 
I think by context, even if you're not a Jamaican, you may have figured that one out. Yes, context. We have what is known as context clues. So, yeah. So the super shot people remember me tell you. It just want like a pepper now. Uh, honestly, that pepper is a worthless pepper because me even stick the pepper in now. What we say? We stop the pepper. Me take the knife or or, or juke. Yeah. So guys, I took the knife and stuck the pepper with it and with all of that so make a sprinkle like a cayenne in there you understand you understand me you understand like a cayenne for just you know like a oomph you know yeah and that's a go on <laughs> Woo, you me extra today extra i keep over here so metal guys remember metal say whatever then put another noodle something here it a thick in the soup, nice. And then with my coconut milk and my cocoa and my pumpkin over here, so <laughs> so nice. So you go find to that one here, not as thick, but it good. It good same way. You don't need nothing. And by the way, people, I'm gonna put no calm. I'm gonna use cornstarch in my soup. Girl, I need no cornstarch in our soup, yeah, because girl, good like that. <laughs> So that's for mommy and this are for we. Alright. Hey, hey. So who adds parsley to their soup though? I'm gonna just add a little. Excuse me guys, I'm sorry. Let me just break for a bit. So of all the days guys, I have a remote that I use for the phone. Because like I told you, I'm using both devices to record on just in case. Because I had an experience yesterday which I'll share with you later on in a vlog or something. So I'm adding a little oregano. And with this, you want to use it lightly. Well, for me, personally, the first time I didn't know what oregano was. The first time I was int introduced to it, I used quite, you know, like a teaspoon or something like that. Or maybe a tablespoon in the soup and trust me it affected my stomach it like burned my chest my chest and my stomach somewhere in another region there so and this is some parsley guys parsley flakes i'm adding to the soup who does that who else does that yeah i do because they say when you know how scented is a bit skeleton and all of them something there you have to do we have to do you understand that is just about ready so guys I'm just gonna clean up my ear and now <laughs> look at my face look at Inga who is well pleased with our soup today <laughs> let me give that full shot Inga is well pleased with our soup today and I told you I make soup with her guys a long time in the mix soup but anyway i soup come see it? so guys there you have it my starter meal for you yes this soup is the best <laughs> i tell you if you have not tried meatless soup guys you should try it for your health and for you know just for your taste just try it just give it a try it's really good you know you can use whatever you want to use in it if you don't want to use the coconut milk but if you choose to you know more flavor yeah so yeah i'm about to enjoy my soup guys i'm about to enjoy my soup mm. i wish you all could taste it in youtube land but yes guys so that's it for this video if you have made it this far which i hope you have please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and remember to check out the other content creators remember i will put their information in the description box down below you you're gonna be blown away by the delicious menus that they have prepared for you so i hope you have enjoyed this video and yeah just continue to do you and continue to be beautiful God bless you all. I'm out. Bye-bye.